Full suspension bikes these days can be so pricey. Some cost even more than my car, but not these bikes. In this video, I'm going over my top 10 favorite budget-friendly full suspension bikes. And we start right now. Coming in at number 10 is the Kona Process 13429. The Process lineup is available in three different travel options, 134, 153, and 170 mils of travel, and goes up to 9,000 US dollars for the fully loaded carbon DL model. You even have a choice between 27.5 and 29 inch wheels. This bike is perfect for someone that wants to ride all kinds of terrain. The RockShox air sprung combo gives the bike 134 millimeters of rear travel and 140 mils up front. The drivetrain is a mix of Shimano Dior components and the brakes are Alhonga two piston hydraulics. It rolls on 29 inch WTB rims wrapped in a Maxxis Dissector Minion DHF combo. The rest of the build is all Kona components with the Transex dropper. The frame has modern geometry that will help you get comfortable on the steep descents or day-long epic rides. It's got a 66 degree head angle, 76 degree seat tube angle, and 427 mil chain stays. At $2,800 US, it has everything you need and is ready to rip right out of the box. I'll be showcasing these bikes fairly quickly in the video just to keep it going, but if you guys wanna check out these beauties up close or maybe even buy one, the links are in the description. At number nine is the Commonsol Meta TR Origin. At 2950 US, the Meta is on the higher end of the price scale, but in my opinion, it's worth every penny. When Commonsol set out to design this bike, their intentions were to make a bike that's nimble and comfortable on the climbs, all while injecting this monster with their downhill DNA. The aluminum frame is the stiffest they've ever made thanks to the double row enduro bearings pressed into the simple and effective linkage. The Origin build has a RockShox Deluxe Select with two volume tokens in the back for 140 mils of travel and 150 mils travel RockShox 35 Silver R up front. It's got a full SRAM SX 12-speed drivetrain and SRAM Guide T-brakes with 200mm rotors front and back. The Meta rolls on 29-inch E13 wheels and 2.34 wide Maxxis Dissector and DHR2 tubeless ready combo. Also at this price point, Commonsol lets you pick the right length of dropper that you need. It has a 65 degree head angle, 79 degree seat tube angle, and short 435 mil chain stays. Oh, it also has a flip chip to slacken the head angle another half degree down to 64.5 and drop the BB by four millimeters. If you guys want a bike that won't break the bank and is a monster on the trails, the Common Salmata TR is definitely a bike you should look at. This buyer's guide features bikes with 140 millimeters of travel or less. I'll be making more top 10s on bikes with longer travel very soon. So if you're interested in seeing those, make sure you subscribe. At number eight is the Da Vinci Marshall 29 DR. This Canadian built aluminum frame is designed for the gnarly terrain we have out here. It features a split pivot rear suspension linkage, boost spacing, size appropriate wheels, polyurethane frame protection, and a lifetime warranty. It has the popular RockShox Deluxe Select R Debonair and 35 Silver TK Solo Air combo for 130 mils of rear travel and 140 up front. The drivetrain is Shimano Dior 12 speed and brakes are Shimano Dior as well with four piston calipers front and back that grip onto 180 mm rotors. It has 29 millimeter wide V2 comp rims wrapped with the best aggressive tire combo, Maxxis Minion DHF front and DHR2 rear. Everything here is tubeless ready. 780 millimeter wide bars and 35 millimeter stem by V2 round out the cockpit and the seat post is a Transex dropper. For geometry, it's got a 65.5 degree head angle, 76 degree seat tube angle and 435 mil chain stays. The Marshall delivers no fuss riding for the no nonsense riders. The Marshall is usually available from Jensen USA and at the time of filming this, it's on sale for 2770 US. If you haven't already noticed, you guys are gonna start to see a trend with the bikes I like to recommend. They have a slack head tube angle, giving you confidence on the steep descents, a steep C tube angle, putting your body weight over the pedals for a nice and comfortable climbing position, and nice short chain stays to keep the bike playful and nimble around those tight turns. With downhill minded geometry and cross country like travel, this new breed of mountain bikes is called Down Country. Dropping in at number seven is the Giant Trans X 29.3. From rock gardens to technical climbs, this trail slayer is all about charging on the trails. The frame features Giant's proprietary Maestro suspension and a flip chip that gives you plus or minus 10 millimeters of bottom bracket clearance and a 65 or 66 degree head angle. 
The Fox Float DPS is custom tuned for Giant and delivers 135 mils of plush rear travel, while the 150 mm RockShox Gold RL devours all the chatter up front. With a 12-speed SRAM SX Eagle drivetrain and Shimano 4-piston hydraulic brakes, the components here will please anyone who takes this bike out for a spin. The wheels are Giant's 30 mm wide all-mountain wheel set, and for tires it has Max's DHF and Dissector tubeless ready combo. The rest of the bike is kitted out with all house brand parts. With a 65.5 degree head angle, 78 degree seat tube angle, and 435 mil chain stays, this thing is ready to charge. Giant is one of the biggest bike manufacturers in the world, and for that reason, they bring you amazing value. At 2700 US, the Giant Trance is a great bike at a great price. I know a lot of you guys from across the pond are gonna tell me in the comments about bikes that are missing from this list, and I welcome that. The sad truth is that some bike brands are only distributed in Europe and Asia. So out here in North America, we don't see a lot of them. But if you guys recommend enough great bikes in the comments, I'll make a list and a video just for you. Skidding into number six is the Canyon Spectral 125 AL5. If you need a bike that offers a huge fun factor and don't need the travel of an enduro bike, the Spectral 125 is the bike for you. This aluminum frame is long, low, slack, and ready to shred. The triple phase suspension design gives you great small bump sensitivity and a progressive ramp up to keep the bike stable and agile. RockShox Deluxe Select Plus and 35 Gold RL take care of the bumps with the 125 and 140 mils of travel respectively. You get a full Shimano Dior build kit, 12 speed drivetrain, cassette and chain, as well as four piston calipers and huge rotors, 180 mil in the rear and 203 in the front. Maxxis Minion DHR2 and Dissector Combo wrap around the 30 mil wide race face wheels, and the rest of the bike is outfitted with Canyon G5 parts. The Iridium dropper the Spectral comes with can be adjusted from 150 to 200 millimeters of drop. 64 degree head angle, 76.5 seat angle, 437 mil chain stays, and in size large, a long 486 millimeter reach, giving you tons of room and confidence to move around when the trail gets technical. Just like Common Saw, Canyon's a direct-to-consumer brand and they give you huge bang for buck. The $2,900 price point here definitely reflects that. Now here is where sh** gets real. My top five bikes are all under 2,500 US, except for one that's super close. Some are even under $2,000. Are you guys ready? Jumping into the top five is the Trek Fuel EX5. Trek is one of the biggest and most recognized bike brands in the world, and this thing is their best value downcountry bike. The frame features a knock block steer tube to protect against the spinning bars, boost spacing for the ultimate compatibility, and a minnow link flip chip to adjust the bike's head tube by a half a degree and a 10 millimeter bottom bracket height. The rear shock is an X-Fusion Pro 2 with 130 mils of travel, and up front, you have a RockShox Recon Silver with 140 mils of travel. The drivetrain is all Dior 12 speed and the brakes are Shimano two piston MT201s. It has 35 mil wide Alex rims wrapped in 2.6 inch tubeless ready Bontrager XR4s. And the rest of the bike is equipped with all Bontrager components. 66 degree head angle, 75 degree seat angle, and 436 mil chain stays, this Trek is ready to party. I can't believe you can get a brand new Trek this nice for under $3,000. At $26.99, this is a great bike and it's available from Trek's website or your local dealer. The next four bikes come in a ton of different builds and even give you a choice in wheel size. So after the video, click on the links and check them out closer. If you're in the market for a great value bike, I know one of these is gonna have the perfect build for you and your budget. Sliding into number four is the Vitas Mythique VRX. This Vitas trail bike is available with 27.5 or 29 inch wheels and in three different builds, as well as women specific models. The frame features a proven horse link four bar suspension design and modern geometry to help you build on your skills. The VRX build includes a RockShox Monarch R rear shock and a Bomber Z2 fork with 34 mil stanchions and 140 mils of travel front and back. Vitas gives you a mix of 12-speed Dior and SLX components for the drivetrain and Shimano MT501 two-piston brakes for stop and power. It rolls on 30 mil wide WTB rims wrapped in 2.35 Schwabi Magic Mary and Hans Damp combo. The contact points are Nuke Proof Neutron and the dropper is a size-specific Brandex Ascend. 66 head angle, 75 seat angle, and the 445 mil chainstays will keep the Mythique stable at speeds. 
At under $2,000 US, the Vetus is a steal and it's available from Chain Reaction and Wiggle.com. If you prefer spending a little bit less up front and upgrading as you go, check out the VR and VRS models. The next three are by far the best value packed bikes I could find and they're all under 2200 US. Rounding off the top three is the Polygon Siskiyou D7. The D stands for down country and is designed for cross country riders that want to hit the trails with a little bit more aggression. This light aluminum frame features a tapered head tube, internal cable routing, boost spacing and through axles. The RockShox Deluxe Select Plus Air Shock handles 120 mils of rear travel, while the Recon Silver RL keeps the front wheel track in the ground with 120 mils of travel. Polygon made the D7 with 27 five wheels in size small, 29 inch wheels for the large and extra large, and that leaves the size medium where you can actually have a choice between the two wheel sizes. The wheels are stiff 30 mil wide entity alloy wrapped in 2.25 Schwabi knobby necks. This Siskiyou has a full 11 speed Shimano Dior drivetrain with a big 11 to 51 tooth cassette giving you a great platform to pedal up the hills. For stopping power, you get the Shimano MT201's hydraulic brakes. The rest of this downcountry beast is outfitted with all Polygon's house brand entity parts and size specific Transex dropper post. 150 for size small and medium and 170 mil dropper for the large and extra large. With a 67 degree head angle, 76 seat angle, and 436 mil chain stays, this genre bending bike is ready to rip and the definition of bang for buck. The Siskiyou D series is available in three different build kits starting at $11.99. The D7 here has the best spec. It retails for $18.99, it's available from Bikes Online, and if you're lucky, you might be able to get it on sale. If you guys enjoy watching these buyer's guides, let me know by hitting the like button. And if this video gets enough likes, I'll make a list for 2023. It's all up to you. In the number two spot is the Marin Rift Zone 1. The Rift Zone lineup is available in both 27.5 and 29 inch wheels. Three different builds with the aluminum frame and even two builds in carbon. The Rift Zone 1's aluminum frame features a tapered head tube, internal cable routing, boost spacing, a threaded BB, and ISCG tabs for installing a chain guide later on. The Xfusion O2 Pro R supports the multi-track suspension platform for 125 mils of rear travel, and the RockShox Recon Silver RL handles the 130 mils up front. The drivetrain includes a Shimano Dior derailleur and shifter, a Sunrace 11 to 51 tooth 11 speed cassette, and a set of Marin forged alloy cranks with a 32 tooth narrow wide chain ring. This Marin has Shimano MT201 hydraulic brakes with 180 mil rotors front and back, and it rolls on 29 mil wide double wall wheels and grippy 2.3 inch wide dual compound V tire crown gems. Everything here is tubeless ready. At this price point, Marin couldn't squeeze in a dropper post, but that might be a positive thing to some, being able to pick the right length dropper. The rest of the bike is kitted out with all Marin components, with a 65 degree head angle, 76 seat angle, and 425 mil chain stays. This entry level shredder will help riders push the envelope up and down the trails. The Marin Rift Zone 1 is available from Bikes Online, and it's only $18.99. And the number one bike on my list is the bike that I would personally get if I was buying my first full suspension trail bike all over again. Here's the Polygon Siskiyou T-Series. This trail weapon is ready to take on anything the trails throw at you. The light, stiff, and durable aluminum frame features a tapered head tube, internal cable routing, boost through axles, ISCG mounts, and optimized kinematics for a plush and progressive suspension platform. It comes in two different builds. The T7 comes with a solid cost-effective kit, including RockShox suspension, Shimano Dior 12-speed drivetrain, and Tektro hydraulic brakes. The T8 has an upgraded Fox 34 and Fox DPS suspension combo, Shimano SLX drivetrain, and Tektro 4 piston brakes. In size small, the bike comes with 27.5 wheels and has a slightly longer travel with 150 up front and 140 mils of rear travel, while the large and above has 29 inch wheels, 140 mils of front travel, and 135 mils in the back. That leaves the medium where you actually get a choice in wheel size and travel options. Both builds have stiff 35 5 mil wide wheels and 2.6 inch wide Schwabi Hansdampf or Attix tires. And all of these are tubeless ready. They're also both finished with Polygon's entity components. The geometry is modern and designed to inspire confidence. 65 degree head angle, 76 seat angle, and 430 mil chain stays. This bike's ready to party. So that just leaves one question. Do you get the T7 for $21.99 and kind of upgrade as you go? 
Or do you spend a little bit more, get the T8, and get everything you need, everything you want right off the bat? Your call. These budget full suspension bikes are a great way to get into the sport, but many of the world's top riders say that the best way to build foundational skills on a mountain bike is to first ride a hardtail. In this video here, I'm gonna show you my top five favorite budget hardtails under $1,000. I'll see you there.